This is just a quick tutorial to show you how Sign Presenter can work great for menus uh, and restaurants or any uh, coffee shops, donut shops, bakeries, wherever. It's uh, completely customizable by you. So there's a couple ways that you could go about uh, getting your menus into messages. So the first one is if you created your menus like in Photoshop or have a video menu, you'd use one of these two options. Um, the downside to this is every time you want to change your menu, then you need to go into Photoshop or, or uh, Final Cut Pro or wherever you created it and, and add a new price or make a new price. So we created a third option called Designer. Um, Designer works great for uh, a lot of areas. You could run specials like we have right here. Um, or you can use it as your full menu. And it's very, very easy to navigate. Uh, once you click on the designer slide, uh, of course you put it in a category. Um, this is just the folders that are over here. And uh, name it, new slide. We'll just name this one real quick. And then you're gonna wanna launch the designer. Once you launch the designer, uh, this image right here, that gray image, is right here on the side. And if you wanted to change that image, you just go right here. This image, you can see how it's highlighted in yellow. It, uh, it's, it's this image right here. If you want to change that, you can change that out. Or if you want to change in the text, you can change the text out. And so maybe we just want to say uh, Grill House Burgers. There we go. Anything you want to change it to. Change a font right here. We are limited on how many fonts we have, but uh, whatever font you want to use, you can change it to it. And then you've got animations, and this is how they're sliding in. It's using the fade in option. Oh, pretty straightforward. The thing that you have to remember when you're using this is to click on whatever you're working on and then work on that. And then after you're done, let's let's raise the price on that. That's way too cheap. There we go. And so after you're done, you click Save Changes, and then it saves it right out. I like to point out this. This is a copy button. If you're working on a slide that you've been working on, you don't want to mess it up, use the copy button first, and then you can um, use that. So let's look at, at what a possible menu would look like. Um, so right here, this would be like a drink menu in a restaurant. And so what we need to do is change that image because it uh, has pink on it. It doesn't look right. So I'm going to go in to the menus, find the image, and then go to image options, select that image, upload, and find the new image that I made earlier. It's a PNG, it's got a clear background. Size that right, it is, I wanted it still at nine by 16. If I wanted it 16 by nine, I could just switch that up there. All right. Let's move that out just a little bit more. Click done. Yeah, I like that, but I don't want it there. So I go right here to size and position. And when I have lock aspect ratio, it keeps the image looking right, but you can unlock that to move it if you need to. Let's move it to the left. That is a little too large. Let's take it down. There we go. Okay. Very important part, after you get done, make sure that you save that image. And there it is. Um, so you can see right here uh, that it's very simple to use the designer. Once I've done that, I save it here. And if this was in a playlist and run it on a screen, it would automatically update any of the prices. You can change them. Again, you just have to go into the correct price all right and so we want to make that 595 and 895 and then as soon as you change that within a couple seconds it will be updated on the screen as long as it's running on a screen so um, this menu right here we've actually made as a, a real easy designer menu just to kind of get you started you just go into new messages designer templates and you can find it right here um, once you have that Put it in your folder, make it your message, and then you can uh, do anything that you want to do with it. So that's how you can use a sign presenter to run digital menus. 
uh, at any restaurant and the advantage here is that you're able to update on the fly um, but of course you can run video pictures uh, you can run specials in between the scheduling is very nice too uh, as far as digital menus are concerned when you go on your first screen of course the second step is to put that into a playlist so we'll do that really quick so there's that menu that we made and now it's in custom playlist and if I hit save and then I'll put it in my first screen by just going to the first screen schedule um, and let's say I just want that to run 8 to 5 it's already there custom playlist I just hit save and now it is running on that screen but if I wanted to make that one just run in the morning. Let's say let's take it to 12. And then let's correct this schedule. Go from 12 to 9 o'clock p.m. Oops. 12 p.m. There we go. Now I've got 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock running and um, from 12 o'clock to 9 o'clock if I wanted to make a different playlist on that one I just click on that if I had a different playlist it would show up here put it in click Save and then so you can run breakfast lunch and dinner as always if there's uh, you need some help getting them set up feel free to reach out to me and we'll get you all set up so your uh, digital menus are running flawlessly on your screens and making life easier for you Thanks for listening.